How's it going, Eddie? Going Just how have you settled in during camp, uh, you know, and how's the adjustment to both wide receiver and kick return been going? Uh, it's been going well, power return, actually, but um, it's been going good. The adjustment was fine. Uh, been here since the spring, so I got acclimated then. And then once I came in in the summer, just flow right into it. Everything was good. Eddie, what for someone that's not seen this offense obviously through the last month, how would you kind of go about describing it, and and what's this offense look like as it as it gets closer now to uh, kickoff? Those are questions really for uh, Coach Beamer and Coach Delo to answer, but um, we want to move fast. I know that for a fact. Yeah, I hope you're well. Um, just pretty simple question here. What do you like about returning punts? What's your favorite part about it? Getting the ball in space. <laughs> uh, that got to be an answer for everybody, I feel like. Um, once you get the ball and you're able to return it, you get enough space and time. Punt return set up the uh, – they, they blocks the correct way. Go make money. I mean, do you sense that there's maybe a little bit more focus, you know, going into this game than maybe other off seasons that you've been a part of just because you guys don't really have a, you know, a tune-up game? I mean, it's mm -hmm. right out of the gate, you know, uh, against a, a pretty good opponent week one. Yeah, so that's that's actually true. Um, every program, that I, the two programs that I've been a part of, uh, my first game, we, we always had a it – wasn't, it wasn't a tune-up game. I mean, it was a tune-up game to where, like, we, we didn't play an opponent that wasn't – that wasn't in the Power Five, so to say. So – Playing against a Power 5 team is definitely a lot more excitement. Eddie, had a chance to talk with A.B. about it heading into preseason camp, but now that we're heading into the first game of the season as someone that was new to the program, how would you describe the wide receiver room? Because it's obviously, you know, people talk about Juice and they talk about Xavier, mm -hmm. but there seems like there's a lot of talent after those guys that kind of gets forgotten. Yeah, explosive. I could say that. That's one word I could say. Very explosive. We got a lot of playmakers in our room, a lot of play people that can do a lot of different things, and a lot of us that can do the same thing as well in different ways. So. That's explosive. I could answer that. Uh, Omega Blake is someone we've heard a lot about. Just speaking of that wide receiver room, what have you seen from him this camp, and how excited are you to see him get out there Saturday? Back, back to what I just said. Explosive. Uh, Omega has been making a lot of spurts lately, making a lot of plays as he usually does, and I'm excited to see what he does. It's his first game, uh, basically his debut. So I'm excited for him. Just like I know he's excited for himself, and I know the room's excited for him as well. I know North Carolina is breaking in a lot of new pieces in the secondary, but just what have you seen from them on film and what kind of challenge does that group of defensive backs present? Uh, I, don't, I don't really know how to answer that as far as like challenge-wise. I mean, we go into each game watching film the same way, uh, trying to find weaknesses in the defense and attack those weaknesses, um, know what their strengths are, and try to get them out of their comfort zone. That's pretty much it. You're talking about the excitement of getting to go against a Power 5 team here, but it's also playing in Bank of America Stadium. you have any experience playing in an NFL nah, stadium? Uh, so I, I have played in the NFL stadium when I was younger, not since I've been in college, though. This is my first time since I've been in college. So it's very exciting. I know it's going to be packed house, so I can't wait. Thank you. Have a good one.